Excuse me, sir. When you're done urinating, I'd like to ask you some questions about social dynamics, intimidation, threats, etc. What is your problem? Oh, I don't have a problem. You should probably wash your hands. I just witnessed an altercation between you and Georgie Cooper. Altercation? A confrontation, a tussle. Anyway, I'd just like to gather more information for sociological purposes. Uh, so, Georgie's your brother? Correct. And you're trying to protect him? Incorrect. I'm just curious what he did to incur your wrath. Also, kudos on the hand washing. He tried to hit on my girlfriend. Interesting. So he openly pursued your mate, and to reassert dominance, you threatened him with physical violence. Hell yeah, I did. I understand that. Well, one of us scared him. I'm about to kick your bottom. I don't think so. Hey, Tommy. How you doing? You got a problem with him? You got a problem with me. And just to make his logic clear, you do have a problem with me. News of my friendship with Tommy had apparently spread. So much so, the student body was finally treating me with the respect I deserve. Even when Tommy wasn't around. This must be how Carl Sagan felt walking through the halls of PBS. Like Superman in a phone booth, I was no stranger to undressing in my gym locker. But not today. Thanks to Tommy, I was invincible. Come on, Jason, I'm gonna be late. Poor baby. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to ask you some questions about your use of intimidation to dominate others. And you might want to unhand me. I'm friends with Tommy Clarkson. Is that so? Yes. You're scheduled to fight him at 3 p.m. on the basketball court. I don't want to fight Jason Davies. I don't think you have a choice. He was pretty adamant. Fine. I'll deal with it. You do have the option of simply not showing up. That's not how fights work, Sheldon. Why? Do they take attendance? <laughs> physical stature to assist Tommy in a brawl, but I did have something far more lethal. My once-in-a-generation brain. Didn't think you'd show up. Well, I did. Let's do this. You're not fighting Tommy, you're fighting me. <laughs> Unless you want to shake hands and we all laugh about this over a glass of milk. I think I'd rather kick both your asses. I was afraid you'd say that. You may have the size advantage, but like David and his sling, I also possess an air-based weapon. So I'll give you one more chance. Are you willing to step down? I'll tell you what, you take the first shot, then it's my turn. Very well. Three. Two. Conventional wisdom tells us that when one stands up to a bully, the bully will inevitably back down and respect you for your courage. 